Okej. Okay. No, cześć Agnieszka. Wiesz co, ja teraz mam wywiad, ale za, za 10 minut do Ciebie odzwonię. Dobrze? Przepraszam Cię strasznie, ale tutaj nie mogę się za bardzo... No, no, dobra. No, trzymaj się, pa, do usłyszenia za chwilę, pa. This is Olivia P. talking to Piastkołodzi, Ace Arts Promoter from Northern Poland. Hello, Piastkołodzi. Hello, Olivia. Who believes that great art for everyone is problematic? Uh, well, Olivia, I think we, we have a, a problem with this. The fact that uh, we're using words like great and art and problematic. I think they're loaded words. I think we should get away, get a distance to it. I think you want to move somewhere else with it. I think you want to take it somewhere where it's not so loaded. So instead of art, we've got to think about communication. You've got to think about people talking together, working together, people involved with each other in some kind of way. And that's what art is about. And it can be through object, it can be through people, people kind of conversation, working together, being together. I think we've got to get this idea of great. What does great mean? Does it mean something which is great in a sense that we have some idea which is shared about what greatness is? Or does it mean my own personal idea of greatness? Does it mean individual greatness or does it mean collective greatness? What do we mean by greatness? Is it something which is larger than me or smaller than me? Is it something that's out there or something that's in here? And problematic. My problem is your solution. Your solution is my problem. So if we're thinking in that way, what should we be saying? Should we be saying that what I am thinking as a solution is a problem for you, and what you're thinking as a problem is a solution for me? And maybe if we look at it in that way, we get a distance, we get a proper distance, and we can go forward with it. We can actually think in a way that will solve this particular situation which the Arts Council of England has, although I don't see it as a problem. I think what we've got to do is we've got to readdress it. We've got to look at it in a different way. We've got to take it somewhere that it is not going at the moment. And by using these stale questions, and I'm sorry to say, Olivia, I do think that is a stale question. I think we want to get away from these stale questions. We want to start thinking about what is it about to communicate. And if we think about communication being a two-way thing, then there is no one who is an artist and someone who's receiving art. In a sense, we're all on the same level. We're all receiving and we're all giving. And if we take art in that direction, then we're going to take it somewhere where it belongs to be. I mean, we can think of the person or the persons involved in that as people who are transformative, people who have power to change, people who have power to run and make a debate that's going to mean something to the community, to the communities, to the individuals, with whom they are involved. And I think that's what art is about, if we're thinking in terms of those jaded words that we're using now to talk about this particular situation. And I don't think we have to use those jaded words. I think we can come from another angle, a different distance to the one that we have at the moment. We're too close. Pull back. Think about it as something that we're sharing, not something that we come in as different ends of a same coin. Yeah, thank you. And uh, what is at stake? Uh, yeah, what is at stake? Uh, you know, nothing's at stake. If we, if we, as I said earlier, if we take that distance, if we get away from those jaded terminologies that we have here, if we get away from the idea of art, we get away from the idea of great, we get away from the idea of problematic, uh -huh. If we start moving into the idea that um, we're into social engagement, then we're thinking about social engagement and art is part of social engagement. But social engagement is greater than art. So in a sense, whatever we choose in relation to other people, how we are involved with other people, not just about a product that we produce, it can be that, not just about a process which we go through, but about all of those things together in every aspect of our daily lives. Now that is art. In a sense, we're taking it away from some kind of institution. We're taking it out of institutions. We're taking it out of people's minds that this is something that other people do. But it's something that we're all engaged in. Socially engaged is not that I go somewhere. I'm not parachuted in somewhere. I'm not clinging onto a parachute, floating in, going, yeah, I'm going to save this world. We're not going to save our world. What we're going to do is we're going to enhance. And I think that's the thing we've got to be thinking about. Enhancement 
Enhancement is the thing. You want to be going in there enhancing, thinking, okay, yeah, we're working together to make this situation, okay. our situation, mm -hmm. a mm -hmm. better situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Better. Making it into a situation that we both agree on, that we both want, that we all want, that we all agree on. And how do you do that? You do that through dialogue, you do that through conversation, you do that through the things that art is. Art is about communication. And what we're doing is we're saying communicate. And so let's leave the product process debate. Let's leave this whole idea that I'm producing something better than you are. It's great because it's the best that it can be. If you have a bit of dialogue, a conversation, it's a great conversation. That is art. If you have something where someone is touched by what you're saying, if I touch you, Olivia, if I touch you, then in a sense, however I touch you, I'm actually succeeding as art, as great art. So it's in the touch that we get what great art is. It's not about our preconceived, close to, too close to, jaded considerations of this particular question. Mm -hmm. And uh, who defines quality? Well, we come back to what do we mean by these particular words? What do we mean by defines? What do we mean by quality? What do we mean by who? And quality can be someone's quality, inequality. So we're thinking in terms of quality as inequality as a possibility. We're thinking in terms of definition. And we're thinking, what does definition do? Definition closes down. Definition gives you borders. And perhaps we don't want to be giving borders here. What we want to be doing is we want to be opening out. We want to be developing something. I'm just going to do this very quickly here. Uh, I don't know, I'll have to hold this up to the camera, so. But um, if we do this kind of thing, and we can, we can keep on doing this, but we can think of this being an interrelation. We can think about that as being something which is human contact. Human contact is not straight, it's not narrow. It is something that is weaving, interweaving, going in and out. It is contacting other people, other threads of information. It's a little bit like, if we're thinking of, some kind of theoretical background. We're thinking of something which is going to be a rhizome. We're thinking of Guattari, we're thinking of um, this idea of getting intermingled contact. Contact which is going everywhere, which is going to places that you'd never believe it would go to. Places that you want to be at, where other people are at, where they can help you towards. Now again, we come back to definition. Definition is something that should open out, not close down. And if we're thinking about defining, we're thinking about something which is what? Engaged in terms of art practice and it's social. Then we start thinking, well, it has to be social. It has to be art. It has to be engaged. It has to be a practice. No, let's get away from those worn out terms. Let's think about something that's going somewhere else. <laughs> Ja nie wiem, co Ale po prostu kiedy mówi o tej rzeczy, to są ważne rzeczy, prawda? A co my, co, o, o czym mówimy tutaj? Mówimy to o tej things which are basic human contact. Things where people are actually talking to each other. That is art. That is social. Let's not take it and put it into a museum. Let's not say that we can learn social, we can learn engagement, we can learn art, we can learn practice from a museum, an institution, whatever, a funding body, from administrators sitting behind desks telling us what that is. Where we can learn it is by that person-to-person -person contact, be it in one-to-one, -one, a number of people, and I'm not just thinking about artists facilitating, I'm thinking about administrators as artists, I'm thinking about funders as artists, I'm thinking about all of those people in that pot, I'm thinking of that Arts Council being a pot of people who should be with each other, should be taking each other in different directions, shouldn't be afraid of this. Mm -hmm. It's not chaos, it's what it is. And if we can't find the language to define this, then we can't have a socially engaged arts practice. A socially engaged arts practice is being able to work with this, not define it, work with it. So all of the words, all of the seas that these words go into mean nothing if we don't have that engagement. And I think we're losing that. I think we've lost it.
I think let's get back to everyone, Arts Council involved, everyone, Arts involved, everyone, Audience involved, forgetting all of those terms, all of those definitions, all of those not going anywhere, not doing anything of any import, throw that. Let's just be people together, communicating, doing it in different ways. Product, process, forget it. It's all about that. Let's just get on with it. Nie, 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 nie teraz. Nie, Andrzej, nie, nie, teraz nie mogę. Przepraszam, nie, jestem zajęty. Nie, bo tutaj mam, e, no, wywiad jest, prawda? Nie, 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 nie teraz. Nie, przepraszam. E, nie, nie, nie. 10 tysięcy. Nie, nie, więcej nie, dobrze? Nie mogę. Okej. Okay. No, później, no, nara.